Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. So in this last episode we went to Elpis and we found it got nausea. Now one of the cures for nausea of course is milk. So the idea of this episode is to make some cows. So let's see if we can do that. So what I've done is I've set up a bubble. Well I'm going to set up a bubble. An oxygen bubble. And what I've done here is I've put this is fluid, you see, this is liquid oxygen. So I put an end tank here and I've coloured it so it's got a cyan in the middle, as you can see. So that basically is similar colour to oxygen, so I thought it was a good colour to put that thing on. So then this is feeding into here, no problem at all. So, that, so that's then we've got oxygen in, liquid oxygen. So what we then do is we want to use that liquid oxygen and make another bubble. Now, I tried doing this a bit, and I did it a bit too near, and what happened is that uh, the animals themselves got shot by those uh, laser turrets. They're considered a, a mob, which of course they are, but no, they weren't really an aggressive mob. <laughs> well, I left my pipe here. So what I've got here is, uh, I'm going to put down, for instance, an ender chest, and on the, in the ender chest I've got uh, carbon, like that. So that's then going to feed the sterling generator like this and the sterling generator is then going to power the um, not the oxygen storage module but the ox oxygen bubble distributor like that so then that powers this so it's getting power in it's got no oxygen we will fix that in a minute and the, and the bubble is visible So on top of this, what we can do is we can put the oxygen storage module. So that's basically the same setup as we've got there, and you'll see that this connects to that. And what we have to do then is to connect these two together. And it's actually it's side sensitive. That's why the generator is on the left-hand side of the oxygen bubble distributor. And then all we have to do is to put the second end tank here, which we've got here, on top of this. Let's just do that. If I can, maybe we need to be a bit further away. <laughs> yeah, got it. So that's now going to feed in. Well, what we have to do, it's not feeding in at the moment. We've got two choices. We can either configure this or we can simply right click this and that puts into push mode. So the blue goes on the outside. You see this fills up with oxygen here, it goes blue, and the bubble starts to get generated. Fantastic, huh? So now actually grow cows. What you need is you need grass, so that's fairly straightforward. You also need water. That's why there's two bubbles. That's why there's two water things there. You also need to be far enough away from it. And to do it, all you need is some wheat. So I'll take four wheat. It, in fact, it's quite good. It tells you everything you do need to do. That's six wheat, for instance. So you can put these wheat together like that, and it gets to this cow bait. take out one the oat stack I think you can do with grass seeds as well I oh, know maybe you just do two grass seeds what does that give us that gives us some chicken bait we could do two we could do some chickens as well like that and then all you need to do is to come up to the bubble and put the bits down and if you're in the wrong if it's the wrong environment you see that I set this up so everything in here was inside the bubble Maybe that corner's not. I don't know if it's going to affect anything. We'll see. If it does, we just put stuff down. So if I try putting this down, for example, here. It says no water in this area. Okay, we'll pick it up. We'll put it somewhere that there is water. So now it says you're too near it. And you move out of the way. Let's put the cows down. We're also too near it. So let's move out and do this one over here like this. Oh, we're still too... And then we can put the last cow down on there. So that's fine. And when you go a bit further away, these start to sort of smoke, if that's the right word. Yeah, you can just see it. There, now they're starting to smoke. And then cows and, and chickens will actually grow. So let's leave that for a while and come back when they've got some. Some of the reasons a mob down here, was that? I'll oh, probably downstairs. Underneath somewhere. So that's all well and good. 
Oh, I want to show you something else as well while I'm here thinking about it. I've automated this a little bit better now, actually. I thought about it. Well, let's just stick on. So what I've done here is I've got some conduit, uh, an item of conduit from EnergyIO. And here I've got our chest. And in the chest I've got nothing at the moment. But here I've put it set. So if I look at this one here, it's set to extract. I've got three stack upgrades. And it tells you that it increases it by four. Now the default is four. So then you get another 12. So you get 16 items per sort of distribution, if you like, or per, per, per whatever, per tick or whatever it is going to be. And then they get put into here and it's set to round robin. So it'll put, so 16 will go in there and then 16 will go in there. So let's go and have a look at that, how that works with, say, some nickel. I think I've got some nickel in this chest. Oh, yeah, I've got plenty of nickel in this chest. I've got 64. So what we expect, if we put 64 in this chest, is we expect to get 32 of each, huh? 32 of the next one down, which I think is barium. And you see, they're going in like that. Oh, we got our 32 barium. Now, I'll put those in again. It'll do, it'll do it again. Actually, we can do that. No big deal. Because we've got a lady chest. See, they went out 16, 16, and I've got these 16. Cupinicum. So I'm going to put those in the lady chest over here. Just like that. So that's extremely, and it doesn't doesn't tick anymore, so it's safe. So that's how we can do those as well. That was quite nice. Also here, I think you probably didn't show you this. I I moved it around, and I also did some more bookshelves. So now it says the item damage is zero percent. So if you've got enough bookshelves around it, it doesn't destroy anything anymore. So I've been busy disenchanting things, and I've got lots of lots of books in here. These are actually all ones from tools. And I think I even managed to get, uh, I did, yes. I managed to get um, Silk Touch, which is great. And these are ones from Armour, so you get Protection 3 instead. Well, those were ones from Armour, the others from Tools. Because I'm getting quite a few tools in from mobs as they're getting ground. And just to double check, because I haven't looked at this today. They should be coming into here. And as you can see, I'm also getting some Iron Armour in here as well. So I'll just take the Iron Armour out. Let's just repair that. I didn't have to do this, and that probably fills up with another one, so we have to I'm going to take that out. Got some leggings, I can do those too as well. And then we'll have a few tools. So I've got a load of tools in here, which I just didn't really put together again. And you see I've got another one soul bound. So you can take the enchants off these things. If I do it, I just keep going like this. And you end up with some tools. Let's take that one out of there. And they, as you can see now, it's not actually putting any more in, which is great. But what I also did is I put got myself some boots. So I've got some Feather Falling 4 on these dark boots. Empowered 4. And I could put Jump Boost on. Maybe that's a good idea. I don't want it for certain places, but like Pluto. But other places it would probably be quite useful for. Uh, and this one is also getting chests, armour in for different things, but that's not full yet, so don't worry about that. So I'll put that one in there. And you see, oh, actually, I actually could have repaired that one. What else have we got in here? So we've got another, oh, a smite two, looting one, and breaking two. That's a pretty good sword, and what I normally do is just take that along, and that one along, and then disenchant them over here. I don't need to worry about it. I haven't got. Oh, I've got a little bit of XP because I was outside. Just preparing for the episode, so we could put some to this one in here, no cost. And I think the cost is related to the amount of damage. So if it's got a cost zero, so if it's well, if it's a expensive enchant, then it doesn't cost too much. So there you are. So I can go and put these back and down to the tool ones, which is this, like that, and sort it. And then we can find, that you get things like Soulbound, I think Auto Smelt. I tried putting Auto Smelt, or I did enchant this one with Auto Smelt. So you can enchant your RI pickaxe as well. So you could put efficiency on those. I'm breaking, I'm breaking on it, I don't really need to, because unless I'm doing a lot of mining, and efficiency, maybe I could put some efficiency fives on there. So you've got efficiency four here, four, 
and lots of threes and some smite. Got two smites, so I could get a smite three. Anyway, don't worry about that now. The other thing I did over the weekend is I did some more research about um, scrap, and the only place you can get scrap from is Venus, so that's a definite. So let's go back outside and have a look and see how we're doing with our cows, if we've got any left, or chickens. Because it doesn't actually take that long. There we are. We've got two cows. Oh, we've got one cow. Oh, we've got one cow, one chicken over here. And that's fully grown. And the other one hasn't yet. Oh, you can hear him. And the other one hasn't yet grown. And the other chicken's over there too. They're baby chickens. So what I wanted to do with this cow, of course, is I want milk. So let's get up. Let's get out. Oh, probably the bottle would be better than that thing. Let's just get a bottle of milk out of this. So we got some milk from that cow. I don't think we can do it twice, can we? We've got to wait a bit. Oh, we can. Oh, we've got four, four, four bottles of milk now. And of course there'll be eggs laid and things like that. So we'll get some other bits and pieces from those animals. Quite good. I was thinking about what other animals you can do. Well, this is one seven ten, so the, the animals aren't that much in terms of choice. But pigs we probably could do, and sheep we can't. Because from sheep we need grass seeds, and there's no recipe for grass seeds. So, let's put the milk in somewhere. Let's put the milk over here. Um, actually, what I'll tell you what I want to do with the milk. Let's put it into this chest here. I want to put it into jars so I can drink it when I'm on an ellipse. So the other thing I want to do today is I want to go to Venus again. Because Venus is the place you can, the only place you can get Venus or well, actually, I'm here. I've got, oh, actually, I've got some golden lassoes to pick up the animals with. In fact, let's put those into... Actually, let's put them into this chest here. So we can take some animals and make sure they're safe between sessions, as it were. Let's put this grass, um, this wheat away. I think that's the only thing. Oh, and I've got a, a nine shovel and I will put those in there of course they'll then get put into the system and come out of the right place so I think I've got everything I need I don't need much for Venus because I've already set up the the plan of where I wanted to do <clears throat> so all I really need is a quarry which were which is available from here so sterling generators we won't need because we've got one there already a bit of cabling that's it that's fine I think that's all we need so let's go and set up this quarry now this quarry is efficiency five and breaking three so it's going to use least power but do maximum sort of mining so that's what i'm intending to do but we could be able to see that and compare it against the other one let's quickly whip over there hopefully it's not night time ah it's daytime fantastic and as you can see here i've actually got it set up so all I need to do now is to right click this one a bit lucky it goes all over there just move that out of the way so now all I need to do is put down this quarry which I didn't pick up from there I also tried the mining well I was trying to do some experiments with that as well and see if that was going to work it didn't work very well so we need a sterling generator we need a chest what else do we need Probably don't need to start the generator. We need the quarry plus, definitely. And maybe a spot loader. We'll see. I don't think we need a spot loader, to be honest with you. And I'll take a normal chest to start with. So we put that, but we'll put, use the chest to put the, to capture the bits that we've already got in there. So when I put this down now like this, it's going to connect to that there. And make a frame. So now I'm going to put this, the ordinary chest on the top of it, like that. I think I've got to shift, and then I should be able to get the markers back again. That was the intention. So now I'm going to break the chest, let the bits fly around, and then put in its place the end of the chest here. So let's put that as number five, uh, six. Like that. And as you can see, that's one chest pulling stuff in and this is the next chest pulling stuff in so that's going to be working now they should be working a lot faster because it's got efficiency 
five in it. Now, first thing it's got to do, of course, is to chop off the top of everywhere to make sure that it's to put down the bits and pieces. This doesn't matter at all. Let's just press F9 and make sure we've got in the same chunk. That looks pretty good. We've got two chunks here. That should be no problem whatsoever. Now let's see if we can actually see this thing doing it. Because well, what it's going to do is it's going to take off the top of these little mountains, as it were, or little hills, and chop those down first of all before it starts to do anything else. Depending on how much it's got to do, it'll take. So you can see it over there. It's working over there now. And I just saw it come over there. Let's just stand back, just in case it wants to do the one I'm standing on. Yes, you can see it just cutting this mountain in half over there. Look at that. So then it's got to go and bring all of those down and start to quarry. But this one looks like it's stopped for some reason. I wonder if it's finished. It's very <laughs> to be honest with you, it's very difficult to see because there's such a lot of uh, lava. And I put the mining, and I put the mi this uh, a mine. What was it? A mining plus? No, a pump plus down here. See if I could pick up any of this lava. And it didn't work at all very well, so I gave up. It looks like that. My nope, it's working. Look at that. So it's still mining away, which is great. So now we've nearly finished this bit over here. I can wait a few more seconds. There's not much else to do on Venus at the moment. I don't think nothing's really. There's no. There's, there's certainly no um, mobs around here of any interest. I think it might be possible to do it on Mars, but I think they've been disabled. I mean dungeons. I think the lunar ones have been disabled. I'll have to check the configuration and see if I can find anything about that. I'll just let that do its business. So now we need to go back home. What I'll do is just pick up a block here. Because I don't like having the doorway left open, so I'll just close it up. Just basically. I'll put some more bits and pieces. Oh, I've got plenty of that. Oops, try that again. Let's put that in position three. So that's that. Now we've got a few more seconds, and not very many, 30 seconds before that's charged up and go back home again. Oh, I want to put these in the chest, didn't I? So I'll put those in that chest. So we now got, I made three more marker pluses, by the way. So I don't want this quarry with me. I'll leave that. I'm sorry, quarry. I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want the bow. I'll leave the bow here. Give that a sort. Of course, that's not essential. I could do that when we get back home. I think we'll leave the Return scrolls in this chest too. Right, now the waste is ready. Let's go back to base. Moon base. And let's put this stuff away. Don't need any of this. Mars, sweet cobblestone. Venus, the surface rock. They're all going to be used for scrap. So look how much scrap we've got. 122,000. Well, nowhere near enough. Let's have a look at how much UU matter we've got as well. 12. <laughs> so from the 170,000 last time, we ended up with 12. No, 8 UU matter. Pretty appalling, really. Um... So there's not much I can do with that, to be honest with you. Now there is something else. I don't know what to go with this, actually. I don't think I have. I've got it still in my to-do list. We can make a quantum ring. So let's have a look at doing the quantum ring. This one. We couldn't do it before because there was no um, recipe. But since t uh, 13, well, 0 0.13, we now can put energy cells into the assembly table and we can get some quantum rings. So energy cells, I think I've got some energy cells in here. I've got eight. So let's go and stick those into, a, into here. In fact, they're actually on the crafting recipe, so they should produce another eight while I'm busy doing this. 
So if we put those into here, for instance, it'll come up and it'll say quantum ring. Maybe I've, well, it should do, shouldn't have I got the wrong type? Let me just double check this. Ah, they need to be charged 100%. Okay. <laughs> Didn't expect that, to be honest with you. Where am I going to put eight of these so they charge up? Oh, I know. Pass that one. Like that. Wait for them to charge up, which won't take very long. Now you have to use the um, the right tool. It does work with this one, that's good, because then they re then they retain the charge. So if you're using the quartz wrench, you know, you definitely retain, this is the network tool, they will definitely retain the charge. Where's that one gone to? Probably in this hopper. Yep. And they stack, so that means they're all charged up fine. So let's go and try that again. And as you can see, now we get our quantum rings. They're using not very much power, so we'll get those fairly quickly. So we can actually now build a quantum ring. I'm actually deciding whether I want to. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure that I do. So now we've got there's about 10 minutes left of this episode. And I've covered most of the stuff I want to cover in it already. So let's have a look at what else we can do. Oh, redstone talks. We want, don't want that either. That belongs in here. Like that. We need to go to Elpis again and get that quarry set up. So I think we probably could go there. Let's have a look at the quests first of all. Stars Align is the one we're working on for UU Matter. Elements of Fire Remote is all completed. We can't do this one because it's just a new quest. Crystallize we don't really care about and Take Flight. Now in Take Flight, ah oh yeah that's it, root it. You shouldn't really get into the routers if you haven't yet. These spinners are perfect to be routed. So we need 10 industrial centrifuges. And we get, as a reward, 5. Let's do that. At least, at least uh, complete one quest. So that's fairly straightforward to do. Industrial centrifuge. Let's look at the recipe for that. Um, and I was looking at this last time. And I was having difficulty with some bits and pieces, and I still don't know what caused it. So basically, we need 10 extractors, which is a basic machine frame, and 40 of these. So let's see if we can actually do that. Now, I've actually got all the bits and pieces stored in here already prepared. So let's get those. Just sort my inventory, and then bring everything out of here, like that. And it was 10 basic machine frames that we needed for that. So that will give us 10 extractors. I think I don't need these taps into here. The recipe for those is very straightforward anyway. I so thought, what was that missing? 10 circuits. We need 9 circuits in here. Nine. So there's our 10 extractors. So we can put those in the system. And then we can go from there to this one. Hopefully I've got enough. So advanced machine casings. I've got 10 of these already prepared. There's basically steel, holes, advanced alloy, and carbon plates around a basic machine frame. So this one here we should be able to do. Is there anything I need to put in there? That one, that one, and those. And that gives me the 10 of these, which is great. Which is what we expect to get. And I don't need those, and I don't need this. So now we can claim that quest. Let's do that. So I'm going to click the claim, so we've now got 15. And I'm not 100% sure yet why we need those. But it's opened up two more quests, so let's have a look at that. Pwa, don't need this. An industrial electrolyzer. And then we get in exchange for that. An industrial centrifuge. Interesting. So I wonder how much an industrial electrolyzer costs. Well, it could be difficult. I've not looked yet. Let's have a look. 
So industrial would probably be a good search word. Oh, maybe not in that case. Electrolyzer. Tech reborn. So what do we need? A magnetizer, an extractor, an electrolyzer. Okay, and plates. Extractor, we can probably make one of those straight away. Oh, we can't. <laughs> okay, can we make... What can we make from that? Basic machine set. Let's make a few of those. Um, we need to make some X. What are they called? I've forgotten the name of them. Tree taps. I oh, just tree taps. That'll give me an extract. Okay. Let's have a look at that. Tree taps. Oh, yep, yeah, we've got a recipe for that. We need four of those. And I've got no CPUs available, which is not surprising because I set it to go and do a load of things. Oh, no, oh, just went and missed it. I don't think it'll be too long, actually. We can probably, probably can do this myself. No, I don't need to. They'll be very fast. Okay, so we've got the tree taps. And what else do we need? A basic machine for this one. Let's just click that in. It should be already now. The electrolyzer, what do we need for that? Oh, well, empty cells, industrial craft. Let's see if we've got... Actually, not too bad. What do we need for that one? So it's four cables and one electric circuit. I think we've got already... So just cables. Yeah, no problem. That will actually be fairly fast. You'll see the copper's actually going down on this number here while it starts to make the cables. And it needed a circuit too, didn't it? Let's just try doing that one again. Yeah, we haven't got a circuit. Let's craft 10 of these. Just having a feeling that we need them. We've got two. So now we've got our electrolyzer. Next machine. Magnetizer. Iron fences. That's interesting. We extrude some iron ca casings. And that will give us one fence. So let's have a look at that. Have we got any iron casings in here? I think we've got those. So we needed, what, two, was it? Let me just check that again. Yeah. And the basic machine casing. We might as well get the basic machine casing as well made as well. And let's go downstairs and extrude these casings to make some iron fences. Seems like a ridiculously cheap recipe. So extruding is this one here. Yeah, they've gone into the system, fine. So let's see if we can actually make this one now. We're missing redstone, don't believe it. It's one of those recipes that didn't work, huh? So now we should be able to make this, actually. There we go, one industrial electrolyzer. Let's have a look at the recipe for that. Yeah, the quote, um, recipe, quest. So we get an industrial centrifuge detect. Claim. Done. And then that opens up the next one. MDMA. What does it say about that? Chemical reactor. Another one on chemistry. So that gives us a reputation and a sex duple compressed cobblestone. Interesting. Don't really need that because I've probably got tons and tons of compressed cobblestone. Yep, 6,000 blocks of compressed quadruple compressed cobblestone. 
So anyway, let's go and see. I've actually got a couple of minutes left. So let's just see how far we can get with this. So what did we need? We need the chemical reactor. Magnetizer, a compressor, and an extractor. Okay, we got those. Invar plates, interesting. Or we could do the aluminium plates, we'll be able to do that, no problem. So an extractor, let's do that again. So we need some more casings, definitely. We should get some basic casings. I'm going to craft another pair of those. I'm not sure if we can actually do an extractor. Let's. Um, was well, a compressor, wasn't it? No, I haven't got a recipe for compressor set up. But if I remember, the compressor wasn't was oh, maybe that's a bit tough. Electric aluminium holes. Let's see if we can do some aluminium. Now we do have that set up as a recipe. Oh, we got forty six. Okay, good. So we need eight. That moves around, of course. Got nine. Eight of those. Ten circuits and one casing. Circuits. We've got eight, nine. Got to make another ten of these. And one casing, that's it. As soon as we get one in, we'll actually put it into the system. It shouldn't take too long, so that we're actually crafting at the moment. Circuits. And only circuits, that's fantastic. Now, of course, those are coming in really fast. Right, 10. That should make the compressor. The compressor was already prepared in that, and I've got now I've got the compressor. So anyway, what am I going to do next time? We're going to go and have a look at um, ellipse next time again, see if we can set up that quarry. And the reason I've got the milk was because of that, and I need to put that into some bottles. So I'll do that between episodes. We'll trundle off there and see if we can survive. I've also got set up the penicillin and the aspirin. So there's always a way to sort of survive that. As long as we've got the return scrolls, if the worst happens, we just whip back straight away. So until next time, bye for now.